Okay, folks, so picking up from last time, um, you know, when you're doing branching and merging, there's a lot of different things that could happen, and I wasn't sure the best way to show you what would happen. So I experimented a little bit, so now I'm a few commits ahead of you, but uh, that doesn't matter. And I already committed that change that uh, we just made in the add informal greetings directory. I already merged that with the trunk. Uh, just because I wanted to make sure that this lesson would be smooth. Um, let's see. In fact, we've already seen it there. I'm just going to show you what happened. You see, I, I did a merge, and now this sup function is in the trunk as well. I'm just going to go through it again. You can follow along with the exact same steps. It's just that um, the, the function names are going to be different, but that's fine. Let's go to branches again. I'm going to make another change. Add informal greetings. Um, greetings. I'm going to add another function here. Def. What's up? Okay, and that's going to return. What's up? Okay. I'm going to test it. Oh, there's an error in it. Type that wrong. Let's test it now. And this works correctly. Okay. So now I'm going to commit it to my branch. Okay. Great. So now I want to get these changes into the trunk. Well, before I do that, I'm going to have to merge the trunk in my branch. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll update this and make sure that everything's up to date. Of course it is. Um, now I'm going to SBN merge the trunk into here. Okay, great. Now, I'll test everything again. What will happen is, and we'll cover this in another video, is you may have to handle some discrepancies between files because maybe the trunk and your branch uh, disagrees somewhere, and you may have to resolve that now when you do this merge. Okay, but um, we'll take care of that in a minute. Right now, we have recorded the merge. Okay, great. So now our branch is... Um, okay, it agrees with the trunk, no problem. Um, we'll test it again. In fact, we already we just tested it, but right now you would uh, do some tests to make sure that everything was fine. Okay, now we'll commit. Um, final merge of the trunk into our development branch. Ready to reintegrate into trunk. Okay, great, we're there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the trunk, wherever that may be, we'll go up to the trunk, update everything. Now, from this directory, we're gonna wanna reintegrate the changes from the branch. You're gonna use reintegrate, and we're gonna reintegrate branches uh, add informal greetings. Perfect. Now we're going to test everything. Uh, first thing we'll do is update. <coughs> okay, we see the this what's up functions here. We we haven't made a commit yet. We'll test everything. Do some tests here. And then we'll commit. Merged development branch for informal greetings into trunk. Done. Now we've done that. Now we can go back to our branches directory. And we don't we don't need this branch anymore, right? It's done. We've already 
made the branch, created the changes we wanted to make, and now merged it back into the trunk. So this, this branch is useless code now, so we can delete this now. You can use SVN, RM, uh, I think you can use delete also. There's a lot of different um, commands that mean the same thing. Where is it? I always use RM, but yeah, you can use delete, del, remove, RM. That'll unversion these files, remove them from version control. SVN, RM, add informal greetings, that's deleted. And now we'll have to commit that. Um, deleted, add informal greetings branch. Great. Okay, and now we can see that that's really gone. We can rmr the hello world, and we can check that out again. Great, and you see there's nothing in branches now. It's empty, but we can look in there if you want to. All gone. So that directory is gone now. What? Uh, if for some reason you need to get back to that branch, uh, you can always check out this. Um, we can always check out this revision 21, or rather 20, and it'll still be there. If for some reason we need to access it, but I don't think we will. So that's that. In the next video, uh, we're going to show a little more complicated workflow, something a little bit more realistic where the trunk and the branch have disagreements and you have to handle them.